All right, let's check out some more examples of this. So notice we have another product here. This is going to be a good candidate for our integration by parts. And remember, we want to somehow split this part up into a U and a DV. Okay, that's our goal. Um, and then when we do that, we'll be able to utilize the formula that this will be UV minus integral V DU. I am not the one that picked U's and V's, but they are always used for integration by part. So I strongly encourage you to write your U's with a little tail so that your handwriting doesn't confuse you. And also I need to scoot those over because they're not ever going to fit there. Okay, so like I said, we need to find out what U and DV are. Okay, so from this part, we want to pick for you uh, something that's going to get simpler when we take the derivative of it, which both of them would. Um, so let's see. Let's say you decided to just approach it like we did the last one, x squared, and then dv was natural log of x. Okay, which of course you can take the derivative of that. That's 2x dx. And then v, you would need to take the antiderivative of this. Um, we can't do that. We can't do the antiderivative of natural log. Not yet. So that was a poor choice. So let's pick again. And sometimes that happens. Oops, sometimes you pick things and it doesn't work. So let's try it the other way. Uh, let's pick u to be natural log of x, which is going to make du x squared dx. All right, so that will make du 1 over x dx. And then that's going to make V one third X cubed. Okay. So at least we could do both of those. All right. So U was a natural log of X. V was one third X cubed. And then V we have one third X cubed and DU is one over X DX. Okay, let's clean this up. Uh, I'm just going to rewrite this the other way. One third x cubed natural log of x minus, I'm going to pull that one third out. And then we have x cubed over x, which is x squared. So we get one third x cubed natural log of x minus one third. The antiderivative of x squared is one third x cubed. And then our last step would be to just rewrite this. One third x cubed natural log of x minus one ninth x cubed plus c. And that looks like a great answer. I think I'm happy with that. How do you guys feel about it? Good? Yep, we're good. Okay, um, we can do integration by parts if we have a definite integral too. That will work. Um, so we have arc sine. Hmm, that looks like a mess. All right, so let's remember, let's just switch colors so we're not confused. Our goal is to split this so that we have uv minus v du. And we need to decide what u and dv are. Okay, so our choice of, of u and dv are going to be kind of important. Um, u... Uh, if Oh, arc sine, we could take the derivative of that. That's on our formula sheet. Um, I keep running out of space. I apologize. So we're going to let u be arc sine of x, which means dv, the only thing left. So if this is u, then this has to be dv. dv is just dx. All right, so using our formula sheet, uh, the derivative of arc sine is 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared dx. And then dv, uh, v is just going to be x. That's the antiderivative of just 1 dx. OK, let's plug in what we have here. So u is um, arc sine of x. v is x. I'm going to write that in front. That's the way we usually write it minus v, which is x, and then du is 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared 
dx. Okay, we are evaluating this from 0 to 1. Uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, it looks like we're going to need a u substitution for this. Um, since we've already used u in this problem, well, let's do a w substitution. It's the same idea. Okay, so we'll do a w substitution. We'll make w 1 minus x squared. So dw is going to be negative 2x dx. And we'll divide by negative 2. So that makes this portion of the integral from 0 to 1, um, 1 over the square root of w, and then dw, and then I'm going to pull that negative 1 half out here. Um, I did not change anything about this, so we'll just leave this as x arc sine x. Okay, so we have x arc sine x plus one half. Uh, this is w to the negative one half dw. So that's 1 half, and this is going to be w to the 1 half times 2. So those will cancel. And then we need to substitute back in. Hmm, I'm running out of space here. So this will be x, x arc sine of x plus w to the 1 half. That's just the square root of w, and what did we decide on w? That was 1 minus x squared. Okay, so that is our antiderivative. I think we're looking good so far, and we are supposed to evaluate this from 1 to 0. Okay, so first we're going to plug in 1. So we have 1 arc sine of 1. Uh, let's see, that's going to be pi over 2 plus uh, the square root of 0, minus, and then we're going to plug in 0, so that's just going to be 0 plus the square root of 1. So our answer is pi over 2 minus 1. Okay, final answer there. Um, we'll see a couple more examples of, oh, lots more fun stuff that we can do with integration by parts.